everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans, for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. A little get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. Nice job doubling up the jab by Golden. Golden's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. He comes back with a right hand. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Double jab there by King. How about a return to sender with the left hand? What a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Double jab there by King. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. King's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. So the round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy here ringside, and we've been enjoying sitting ringside because, Teddy, I know you have some of your fine guests from the Dr. Theodore Atlas Charitable Foundation with us here tonight. And they're having a great night, and it's great to have them here. The thing that I want to say is thank you to all the people that help us, help many. They trust us. They allow us to be the middleman to give out the resources where they're needed. Thank you for mentioning, Joe, and thank you to all the people that help us do what we do. Super three-punch combination by Golden. Well done that time, landing the counterpunch. The combo lands upstairs. Way through this round here. Good doubling up of the jab by King. Golden's blocking ability is doing well for him there. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Golden. Well targeted two punch combo by King. Well placed, straight right hand. Pistols, legs look shaky, he was hurt. King's just being swarmed, he just got stunned. He got absolutely nailed. Able to cover up that gut. Targeting that belt line with the double jab. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it 
right back with one of his own. Good work by Pistol. And that's the end of round two. Well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Golden's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Keep it going. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by King. Golden's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Look at that combination by King. Pistol's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. King's got it down pat. Straight is great. Straight punch wins. Yeah, especially when the opponent is standing straight in front of you. That's a forceful two-punch combo by King. Solid straight right hand. Big, big shot he just scored with. Wow, flushing blow upstairs. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. He's a weeble wobble in the ring right now, just wobbling away. Little head knocking with that right hand. And now another left. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good job with another left hand. Last 10 seconds. And the round comes to an end. Three. Three. I need another round from you. I need you to be busy this round, all right? He caught you with your hands down. Let's box smart and not get caught. We talk about it often, but jumping out and taking a lead on the scorecards can be so critical. He's done so in these first three rounds thanks to that knockdown. Yeah, he has, but it can also hurt you because now if he starts laying back and just waiting for that next big punch, guess what? His opponent gets right back into the fight. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. to see a good combination punch by King halfway through this round good step back counter punch there beautiful and now he's acting like a fighter coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon there's the combo to the body that's great stuff he fires one right back after taking one gotta love the work by Golden and you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Pistol's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. King's nose is cut, and you can see that it's worsening as this round goes on. Golden's probably thinking to himself, there has to be an adjustment out there that I can make. Now, 
He's known as a guy who's a pretty good boxer, but here in these middle rounds, it's not paying off. No, I think what he has to do is maybe just for a minute go away from being a boxer. Sit down a little bit. He's got to do something to slow down his opponent, gain his respect a bit. King's got to be careful not to fall prey to what so many fighters do. Most fight, you may be up, but you may not stay that way. He's getting some sound advice from his cornerman. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Keep moving, keep moving. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Keep moving, keep moving. Two snapping jabs by King. Golden's looking for a way to get this fight back on course, a course that can get him a victory. This isn't it, just trying to counterpunch these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. Unable to connect by King. King's doing well here with that two punch combination. Pistol's right hand scores well that time. Off the mark by King. Golden's right hand scores well, and that's the end of round five. King's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things avatine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Keep moving, keep moving. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Double jab by King. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there, was the cover. Golden's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustments. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Keep moving, keep moving. Lance flush with the two punch combo by King. King's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Golden's gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. after catching one by pistol. You got this one. Well targeted.
double jab by King. End of that round, and what I take away from it is that he has a great grasp of what the judges look for. Good, clean, effective punching has him in control. Well, that's what happens when you have a good amateur background where you're real calm. That's your office. You're able to see things. You don't see one way to hit a guy, not even two. You see four or five ways to hit a guy with the same punch, and he's showing that right now. Really frustrating his opponent now. Pistol so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. Nice, nice. And there's the left hand working well for him again. And now he scores well with a straight right. He was waiting for his opponent, just waiting for an opportunity, and he found it, the counterpunch by Golden. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Pistol. At the halfway point of round seven, a crushing two-punch combo by Golden. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Golden's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does. And the reason why it's getting cracks is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed. So he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's going to come back. What an excellent two-punch combo by Golden. And that's the end of round seven. Get some water. We got you good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Well, as we begin round number eight here, I, you know, he's down big on your scorecard, Teddy. That's clear to see. Is there any possibility that he's saving himself here and trying to mount a late comeback? Well, what you're touching on, Joe, is that he's facing himself. And I think that there's beyond the possibility. I think there's no doubt that he's probably doing that. He's worried about the late rounds, and that's costing him right now. Set up punch, one, two, two jabs to the body. Accurate hook by Golden. Golden's trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to... And yet another big shot comes in. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's just no quit in this guy. He's been damaged, but still he's trying to make a fight of it. Look, I love that about him. The fans love that about him. It's great. But he's got to learn 
when it's time to turn it off, when it's time to clinch a little bit, survive a little. A little something of his own. Blocks the shot, brings back the uppercut. Keep moving, keep moving. Golden scoring with that right hand. Big power punch by Pistol. Keep working to find. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Commits to the straight right. King's doing a brilliant job with his head movements. Going top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. I like how he doubles up that jab by Golden. Keep moving. Keep moving. He's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Keep keep oh. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Golden, he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck. Big shot there. From absolutely out of nowhere to now on top of the world, he just floored him with that punch. Short one, maybe six inches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Golden's in a tough spot right now. Yes, he got up, but he looks like he is on a shaky foundation. And this is where you hope that his trainer worked on these things in the gym. Just like in football, the two-minute warning. You know, when it goes crazy, what do you do? 90 seconds into the ninth round, and a well-placed combination by King. King's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you come up the way that his opponent is, you're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked, but when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Golden's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. It's all right. Just keep moving. There it is. That was a big shot that Florida, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Golden's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim.